Hello and welcome to our tour of a standard balcony cabin on board Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. In this video we're going to be showing you around cabin 10542 which was a standard unobstructed balcony cabin on deck 10 starboard side towards the forward part of the ship. So let's get into the tour. As you step into the cabin simply pop your cruise card into the electricity slot on the bulkhead to switch on the electricity. First impression, for a standard balcony cabin, it's a big cabin. Floor area measures 177 square feet with an 82 square foot balcony. On the bulkhead, just by the door, you'll find the thermostat for the air conditioning. Really simple to use, one button to alternate between fan on, off and auto, and arrows up and down to adjust the climate. If you have it set to auto though, and the balcony door is open, the AC will not work. This cabin has an abundance of storage. On the right side of our bed you have a large wardrobe with two rails and a handful of coat hangers. This wardrobe is fine for tops and trousers, however longer items such as ladies cocktail dresses would suit the wardrobe on the other side as it's taller. Above the bed you have two identical cupboards, handy to store mini suitcases or any larger items when you're not using them. And on each side of the bed you have a reading light fixed to the bulkhead, a two pin American plug socket and a bedside table with some shelving. On the bulkhead opposite the bed you have a full length mirror. Stepping into the bathroom, I'm very impressed. Comparable in decor and size to what you get on P&O's Iona and the Solstice class of ship with Celebrity. You get a full width mirror, a wash basin with foam tap, three small shelves, however not very practical, any pitching or rolling and your toothbrush is going to go skydiving. Underneath the top shelf you have a shaver and toothbrush socket at 115 and 240 volts. Below the basin you have a long shelf with a bin or trash can for our American cousins and above it you have the toilet roll holder. Hallelujah, no shower curtain. A proper shower door made from real glass, unlike the plastic shower doors you get on the likes of the Voyager class and Freedom class of ship with Royal Caribbean. Inside the shower you have a clothesline fixed to the bulkhead, a couple of hooks, two metal shelves and a body wash dispenser. The bed was firm but comfortable. We yet to find a bed as comfortable as what you get on princess ships though. Next to the bed you have a snazzy interactive touchscreen phone. We're now in the other wardrobe unit adjacent to the bed. It is split 50-50 between shelving and a narrow single wardrobe. The wardrobe is taller than the one shown to you at the start of this video but not full height as you have these deep drawers at the bottom. On the shelves you'll also find the digital safe. You get a decent sized writing desk with two US sockets, one European socket and two USB terminals. You also get a small shelf both sides for storing god knows what. If you need a light just flick the switch for the mirror's edge to light up. Next to the desk you have this large drawer and cupboard unit with tea and coffee making facilities on the top. A hair dryer can be found in the top drawer and in the cupboard lower down you'll find the mini fridge. Once upon a time you used to get a mini bar but because of Covid this cabin facility has been suspended. This sofa is pretty uncomfortable however it converts into a double bed meaning this cabin is capable of accommodating four passengers. The TV is fully interactive and you can do pretty much everything you could want. Book restaurants, watch films on pay per view, order room service, check your shipboard account, you name it. There's just one problem, it's unbearably slow, to the point we never switched it on. Very disappointing because it has the potential to be one of the best interactive TV services at sea. Moving on to the balcony, it's a moderate size at 82 square feet. If this is too pokey for you, you can upgrade to the superior ocean view which has a larger balcony at 119 square feet. 
This balcony features two reclining chairs with footstool and a small coffee table, more than adequate enough to please most people. So that was our tour of a standard ocean view balcony cabin on Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. Overall, I would say that this is the best standard balcony cabin at sea that I've experienced so far. It was clean, comfortable, well maintained, spacious, featured tons of storage, plenty of lighting, countless plug sockets including one at each bedside, and the climate control was easy to use. If the interactive TV didn't lag so badly, I would have said that this cabin was near to perfect. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.